So there's a design dilemma. What if we really don't want to have public access to data one and data two? And you're looking at me, wait a minute, that's supposed to be private. You're right. But if you remember in the pre previous class, they were both had public methods that would gather the data and then do display it or something like that. But what if we don't want that? What if we want it hidden? And frankly, well, only that the class would have control of this. So notice what we're going to do. Everything bef after that friend is basically the same exact thing as we just did. But a friend operator is just that, or friend keyword. That says that this function will have access to all of the items within the class. Call it a friend, right? You trust your friend, and well, you're putting a lot of trust into this function saying, okay, this function is allowed access to all of my data that I have inside of the class, my class in this example. So how is that going to look? Now notice the only thing is different out here is just you have direct access to the data. It's not the functions, it's a direct access to it. Also notice there's not a friend in front of it either. That sounds terrible, but anyway, the friend keyword is not out in front of it. The only time you see friend is frankly right here in the class itself. Also notice it's not, it doesn't have that scope operator that we have for my class because again, this is a friend function. It's friend of the class, but it's not really a, the part of the class. It's just a friend function. So that is your other way of getting around if you had some private data members that you want to actually display, but you want to keep it in-house.